Reduce. Set your photocopiers and printers to print on both sides by default. Make computer files, not paper files when possible. If you have not explored computer alternatives to paper in a couple of years, then you really have a lot of catching up to do. Numerous free or inexpensive software programs, such as Stickies or NoteWen, can reduce or eliminate the need for sticky notes and notepads. These programs, as well as most electronic calendars and task lists, can be set to remind you of some event or task with a special message at any time in the future. Small handheld computers, such as the Zyre sold by Palm One, the iPack sold by HP, and all other models and brands are especially good for reminding, note-taking, calendar scheduling, and other paper-consuming tasks. Recent advances in computer software make it easy to create documents that are encrypted, password protected, and safe from either unauthorized access or alteration. This can be done with very sophisticated, free and low-cost software. Electronic signatures are widely accepted and legally binding. Over the long run, electronic files save floor and file space. In most cases, electronic documents are cost-removable media, such as compact disks or removable hard drives, and stored off-site. Backups can also be transferred over secure internet connections for off-site storage. You never need to lose documents to fire or flood or theft. Computer magazines such as PC Magazine and Computer World have searchable websites that can get you started. Fight junk mail. Take steps to reduce the amount of junk mail that your office receives. Reuse. Reuse envelopes and send them through the mail again whenever possible. Reuse. Reuse envelopes and send them through the mail again whenever possible. We understand that businesses do not like to send some types of mail in used envelopes for reasons of corporate image. However, many businesses conduct a fair amount of mailing of types where corporate image is not a factor. For this type of mailing, use labels to cover the old address on used envelopes. Some companies sell reuse labels for envelopes, which have a discreet message at the bottom explaining that this envelope was reused to save trees. Have each staff person set aside paper that they use on only one side, so that it can be reused for printing drafts in your printer, or glue together to make scratch pads. As staff accumulate paper, they can transfer it to a centrally located storage box, possibly next to a printer or photocopiers. Use padding compound, the glue that holds paper together in tablets, to make scratch pads from your paper that was used only on one side. Padding compound is available from many office supply stores. You can clamp the edge of the paper together with blocks of wood and C-clamps. Or you can invest in a small paper padding press. Several types are sold for well under $150. Buy recycled toner cartridges and send your spent toner cartridges to be recycled. Commercially, this is referred to as recycling, but it's actually a form of reuse. Encourage staff to use reusable coffee mugs when they pick up coffee in the morning on their way into the office. Hang a mug reuse poster in your break room. Invest in rechargeable batteries and battery chargers for digital cameras, flashlights, and other small devices. If your staff can be trusted to not accidentally throw away or lose the rechargeable batteries, in the long run it would be cheaper and better for the environment. Recycle. Recycle glass, plastic, metal cans, white paper, and mixed paper and organics as you do at home. You do that at home, don't you? How to start recycling paper. To start a recycling program, determine which material you want to recycle. Find someone to pick up the material. Put recycling bins around your office and get staff to participate. That is all there is to it. Having commitment from your management to encourage staff will help, but it is even more important to have management participate. Yellow Pages directories generally have recycling vendors who will pick up your recyclables. Look under headings such as recycling, reuse, waste disposal, etc. One Yellow Page directory has a heading called Waste Disposal Reduction and Recycling. Call around to see who can offer you the best pickup service. Each vendor will have their own requirements and condition. Schedules and prices can be negotiated. Sample contracts are also available for download from the Waste Prevention Information Exchange, a program of CIWMB. Most vendors will supply large bins to keep in the yard, 
Some will provide smaller bins to place around the office. The types of services provided by local recycling vendors varies throughout the state. Shop around and compare. You can buy your own bins if need be. Some countries and cities have recycling coordinators who can help you. To find the recycling coordinator in your community, look in the government section of your phone directory. The public works department for your county or city is the most likely place to find the recycling coordinator. Recycle organics inside and out. Keep worms in your office. We're not kidding. Train your staff members to receive a worm bin with worms on how to practice vermicomposting. These volunteers, referred to as worm wranglers, will bury their coffee grounds, tea bags, and food scraps such as apple cores and banana peels in a bedding of shredded newspaper. A wiggle, the recognized name for a group of worms, of more than a thousand worms in each bin, consume the waste and generate a rich, viable soil amendment. You can also maintain a larger worm bin with tens of thousands of worms. This bin can be located on the exterior of the building and will be used to process food preparation scraps from the on-site cafe, employee lunches, etc. Make your worm bins or buy them from any worm bin vendors. You might have noticed that some of the recycling bin vendors you may find make worm bins, but if worm bins are your main interest, the worm bin vendor is in the vermicomposting section. You can make your own worm bins or buy them from a worm bin vendor. It is generally better to buy your worms from a supplier who can sell you a type of worm that is well suited for worm bins. Unless you are pretty well brushed up on your worm science, do not try to dig up worms from your own backyard. There are likely to be at least a few varieties wiggling around in the soil, and most of them do not do well in worm bins. If you have a cafeteria or cafe, look into food diversion and vermicomposting. If you have a cafeteria or cafe, look into food diversion and vermicomposting. You can also grass cycle your lawn clippings if you maintain a business landscape and compost your yard and pruning.